If it's full of bear, I don't care. It's quite a rough ride, just like life. But I'm kind of patient, cause only time will tell. It's gonna go up, so you better stay calm. And grow your coins, grow your coins, you gotta grow your coins. Grow your coins, grow your coins. Grow your coins, grow your coins, you gotta grow your coins. Grow your coins, grow your coins. Grow your coins, grow your coins, you gotta grow your coins. Grow your coins, grow your coins. Grow your coins, grow your coins, you gotta grow your coins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Crypto Crow, and I am doing this pre recorded video as a part of a new series specifically for. Crow Trader, which is currently available at crowtrader.com. And we've recently just launched this beta version six that now includes Binance Legacy. This is not Binance US, it's Binance Legacy and Coinbase Pro. And we're going to do a bit of a tutorial today to show you guys how to set up Coinbase Pro on your Crow Trader beta version six that just launched today uh, and includes Binance. A lot of people have been getting this bot and setting it up and uh, everybody's starting to think, hey, Crow, more people are starting to use it. You should probably start doing some more tutorial videos to show different things. So I'm going to be doing a tutorial on setting up your APIs on Coinbase as well as getting everything set up in your bot. Um, it's going to be a little weird because I'm not going to be showing my API keys or any of that stuff. So I might be clicking, editing, doing different things just to kind of avoid some of that. Um, I'm gonna end up wiping them and everything anyway, but it's just kind of a, uh, you know, I, you know I me, mean, I'm a little paranoid. So I just don't wanna show anything on YouTube anymore um, of any kind that's gonna, you know, create problems. So anyway, um, if you are setting this up and you do have questions or what have you, you can obviously come down mm -mm, right here and click this and it'll open up the Telegram community. Uh, so you can open it up right there in Telegram. There are 196 people in there right now, seven online, and uh, you'll be able to get support, ask questions, and so forth. But uh, for now, what we're going to do is you're going to download this beta build version 6.0. This is obviously after you've purchased the bot. Um, if you haven't purchased it, then you'll come here, and it is 0 0.05 Bitcoin. Uh, unless you have some sort of promo code or something like that, at which point you'll just add that promo code. Um, like we just, like right now, we're having a Black Friday sale. Um, and so, you know, you can pump your promo code in. That's only going to last until December 1st, though. So if you're watching this, you may or may not have it. Uh, if you do, great. And if you don't, I'm sorry you missed that special because it's a good one. Um, obviously, with Bitcoin being 7477 right now, um, Bitcoin's cheap. Uh, I don't know if it's going to get lower or not. Uh, but when Bitcoin is this cheap, that's a really good time to make Bitcoin-based purchases. Um, so anyway, that's entirely up to you if you want to wait. If you think Bitcoin's going down to $4,000 and uh, maybe you wait it out. And if you think it's going up to 50 anytime soon, well, obviously now's the time to get Crow Trader so you can accumulate more of that, hopefully. All right, moving forward, here's what we're going to do. I have version 6.0 sitting on my desktop. So let's go. There is my version 6.0. And you're saying, oh, you know what? Well, what we could do is we'll, we'll open this up going to just drag this over to we're going to ex, uh, export everything so now that we have the bot bingo bango here we are there are all the files for the bot and i just deleted my database so i had like 37 trades over the past week uh paper trades mind you but trades nonetheless and uh, I was do I was getting pretty good gains. Like I, things were popping. I think I was up 0 0.016 something 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 Bitcoin over the past week, and then um, I was up 
um, I forget how much it was in USD, but I had like 12 trades in uh, USD pairs over the past week. And I'm going to be showing you a lot of really cool stuff moving forward. Just know this. All right. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you are going to need a Coinbase, uh, a Coinbase API. And so this is actually a Medium article, how to link Coinbase Pro API keys. This isn't about linking the keys, but it's going to show you pretty easily what you need to do. So once you're in, your, and this is Coinbase Pro, this is not Coinbase, all right? Coinbase will not work. So you're going to need your Coinbase Pro. And when you're in your account, this is all you got to do, yo. Um, you're going to go into your account in the top right over here. Uh, you're going to click that and then a little drop down menu is going to open up and it's going to say API. All right. And once you are in there, oops, um, once you're in there, you're going to see something like this. And this is basically where you're going to create your keys. And it's very, very simple. So API settings, click new API key. And you're going to want your API key to be view, whoops, view and trade only, not transfer. You're not transferring anything anywhere, okay? You're not withdrawing. You're not doing any of that. You're simply trading. That's it. You want to use, if you're using this on like a local machine or something like that, you're not using this on a VPS. Even if you are, I guess, the, I don't, I haven't done this on a VPS, but you want to make sure that somebody, for whatever reason, doesn't get into your system or what have you. Um, you know, you can you can plug in a, an IP whitelist in here. Um, you'll get a passphrase, and you'll click Create API. Copy this passphrase. You will need it. Okay. Make sure you copy that passphrase. Then you're going to create API key, and then from there, you're going to get your API secret. All right, so you're going to copy this. So you're going to have a passphrase and a secret. All right, and then you'll see down here, this is going to be your API key. All right, so once you're done there, boom, now you've got your API key, your permissions are view and trade, and that's it. Now you've got all three. All right, and that's all you need. That's it. Um, Coinbase Pro. It, now this is for other software. I don't even know what this is. I've never used it. Um, but that's basically what you're going to need. You're going to have your Coinbase Pro API key, API secret in the passphrase to access that. And once you have all that, you're going to come into this box here with your bot and you're going to click start. Okay. Okay. And you're going to get this little window here. It's running. Um, and it's going to tell you, go to this URL. All right, so I'm gonna copy this, paste it, and then I'm gonna bring it up. So that URL is right here. I'm gonna refresh it, and there we have it. Now, this is the bot running, okay? So in order for you to use the bot, you always need this command prompt, this command window running, all right? So typically, you know, I can drag it off to the side or I can just minimize it, all right? Um, you're going to want to check it because it is technically still in beta. All right. We are making some crazy improvements and, and doing a lot of cool things with it. Um, but there are still different bugs sometimes on different operating systems, whether you're running a Mac, you're running the Mac version or you're running a Windows, whatever it is. You know, you still want to check it, you know, once a day just to make sure it's still running and not giving you any errors. <clears throat> if you do get errors of any kind, screenshot them. And then post them in the Telegram group. Well, <laughs> be careful. Don't don't screenshot your API keys or any of that stuff, right? That's that's not what we're here for. Um, you don't want to do that. But if you've got an error or something like that, it's probably best. You know what we're going to do? I'm just going to create a support system on the site. Um, that way, you're not having to post all this stuff. If it's something that you know is safe and you're not getting a bunch of code with any kind of anything harmful in it, then maybe you can share that. Um, but be cautious, but what I'll, I'll end up setting up some system. All right. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to basically set up your first name, your last name, your email address, use the email address 
that you used when you bought your license, okay? And then this is where you're gonna put your license key. This is the key for the software that you bought, all right? Um, let me see something here. All right, so I'm gonna basically plug this stuff in and hit next, and then I will be back in a second. I should play the Crow Your Coin song right now. That would probably be. Crow Your Coins, Crow Coins. Um, dee dee dee. All right. I'm just copying and pasting this stuff. And then I will go to the next screen here in a minute. All right. So I hit next. Validating license. Boom. Okay. So I'll drag this back up. Bam, there it is. So now, once you've added that information and it's validated your license, it's gonna take you to this screen. Welcome, enter your exchange information. Ooh, there's Binance. And then there's Coinbase Pro. We're going with Coinbase Pro, all right? Now, this exchange label, this is basically where you can label whatever the exchange is. Let's call it Coinbase, <laughs> all right? Then in here, you're gonna put your primary API key, your API secret, and then your API passphrase, your password. So I'm gonna do that now. Done. Doing this on multiple monitors is not always super easy. Next, and it worked. And so we're back here. Now we're at the next window. We've only got 38 more windows like this to go, folks. No, I'm kidding. This is almost it. Um, so here, you're gonna put your time zone, whatever time zone you're in, and there are all a whole bunch of them. So pick what time zone works for you um what works for me where let's do i guess new york maybe um roll down there's so many so many i'm not even sure how much this affects things but i have to assume that it does to some degree so i want to make it accurate i think um here we go somewhere in here fort wayne uh Diesel Pete. No, I'm not negative four. Um, five. New York. Okay. All right. And then this is location. Um, well, obviously we're in America. We're in America, not in the United Kingdom. English, United States. And then I'm clicking next. All right. Now, this is for, so add your paper trading starting capital amount. amount. So let's say hypothetically you're thinking, I, um, I wanna trade, like I've got like, a, I don't know, let's say you wanna trade with a Bitcoin, okay? Or maybe you wanna trade with 0.2 Bitcoin. Maybe you've got, um, I'm just gonna throw, no, I'm, so one, um, maybe let's say, five ethereum and let's say two thousand dollars cash all right some of you guys are thinking dang crow you're a baller i'm just throwing numbers in here um this does not really matter but this is going to you know when you're paper trading and you're running these back tests this is this is basically like saying okay this is how much i want to trade with in any of these or each of these and that's that's it. And so when you're paper trading, that's what your limits are going to be. And so it'll stop you and it'll, you know, it won't go over this sum. All right. So it's, it's helpful, but it does, it doesn't really matter because when you start turning on live trading, you're going to basically change these pairs to using any amount you want. But 
what what's going to happen is when you are uh you know when i set up a back test okay i'm going to set up a back test based on a certain amount of capital and then when i go from back testing i say oh that looks like some pretty good gains in the past so i'm going to turn on paper trading and it's going to keep those settings. And then if I still like where it's going, I just hit a button and it goes to live trading. So you want this to be like what you've got on the exchange. So if you've if you've got one Bitcoin, if you've got 0.1 Bitcoin, if you've got 0 0.05 Bitcoin, whatever it is you're trading with, it's probably going to be best if that's what you put in here. Okay. Okay. All right. Set up complete. Create a back test. That is it. From here, you can go through and start experimenting. And we're going to go into some of that stuff in the next video. So hopefully this was help helpful. I got to say, this is probably going to be the easiest setup of just about any bot out there. I'm sure you, you've got to agree. Like this video, I don't even know how long it is. It's pretty short. And it was already, I mean, I drug it out by rambling. So <laughs> until next video, guys, hopefully your bot is running smooth and crow your coins. And I will see you in the next one.